JJ Livingston is with a company called Factorial Energy. You guys are working on solid state batteries. That's right, yep. So, a whole bunch of things to ask you sure. about. You know, and I want to get into where you stand with the batteries, yep. but first tell the audience, you got some serious OEMs behind you guys. Yeah, that's right. So, over the last you know two years, we've received uh, investment and joint development agreements with Hyundai, Mercedes-Benz, and Stellantis. So, just those three customers represent a pretty significant portion of the total market, particularly in the U.S. and uh, Europe. They've invested in the company. Not only invested, but also those investments came with joint development agreements, which shows how serious they are about you know upgrading to solid state batteries going forward. So earlier this year, I was at CES. In fact, this is sort of the Detroit version of CES, right. yeah, if yeah. you will. In that was way. there too. Yeah, yeah. And. Uh, Ram introduced their new electric pickup, and right. they had a cutaway of the chassis, and a little cutout of the battery pack, and there was a, a factorial logo on it. Yeah, yeah, it was an exciting day, and in, in addition to that, Carlos Tavares had the uh, keynote address. Spent a few minutes talking about our partnership and our batteries and what it's going to do for, for Stellantis and for their brand, so it was a really exciting time for us. So, JJ, where does, where does it stand right now? I mean, everybody's, you know, like salivating, you yeah. know, bring it on, get us these uh, solid state batteries. Yeah, sure, well, we're doing pretty good. Uh, at that conference or at the CES, Carlos and, and Factorial jointly announced a 100 amp hour solid state battery, which has never been done before. Since that time, we've uh, started manufacturing these on our pilot line. Uh, we received UN 38.3 certification, which is a third party uh, testing certification that allows us to ship these batteries. So that you know brings some reality to the batteries that they're real and that we can ship them. So uh, relatively soon, we're going to start shipping those to customers. And but these are for feedback. testing, right? This is these not are, for... These are true A-sample testing. So we'll go through the A-sample phase. And what's A-sample mean? A-sample is usually sort of the, the prototype phase. So we're, we're looking at the chemistry, we're looking at all of the, you know, the trade-offs of batteries. So batteries are kind of a big game of, of trade-offs, really. So uh, because we have the three different partners, we have a pretty good look at the market, right? So Mercedes is a luxury brand. So we're looking at what their customers want from solid state batteries from the luxury perspective. Solantis is a mass market brand, you know, throughout you know Europe and, and the United States. So we're looking at what their customers want from a performance and cost and and uh, in a standpoint. And then we've got Hyundai as well, which is you know of a kind of a global you know type of brand. So it's really advantageous for us to understand these three different potential markets and customers, so that we can craft that battery, design that battery in a shape, size, and performance is going to meet those particular customers. So it's 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 pretty exciting time, yeah. You know, they've been great, they've been great partners. I, I'm not surprised to see Mercedes and Stellantis with you. Hyundai, yes. Yeah. You know, because you got such big uh, manufacturers based in Korea that they right. come to Factorial. Yeah, I think that speaks to the technology. Uh, what we're trying to do is not easy. If it was easy, everybody would doing it. But we've got we've got uh, some technology that really works. And the fact that we're making these, you know, they're a semi-solid state battery, uh, and we're shipping them to customers, and we're we're getting test results. We're going as A samples, uh, and again, because they're joint development agreements with these with these three OEMs, they're helping us, you know, to understand and how to uh, get the process correct and understand what quality requirements are. So their partnership is very very valuable to us in our development of the batteries moving forward. Everybody wants to know when are we going to see these things in production. <laughs> For me, as soon as possible. Um, you know, there's a lot so of work to be real, done. What's real? I think realistically, at CES, Carlos Tavares talked about 2026, and I think that that's a that's a good time frame. We're we're all shooting for that. That's pretty aggressive. It's very aggressive, but these batteries that we're doing, because they're more of a semi-solid, aren't much different than conventional lithium-ion from a manufacturing standpoint. So, cathode is the same, right? We can use any anode. We're currently looking at a lithium metal uh, anode, and then we add our solid-state electrolyte. So, from a manufacturing perspective, we use. 80 to 85 percent of the same exact equipment that conventional lithium-ion batteries uh, are, are are using to make. So, we um, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We can build these batteries with existing equipment. Uh, the biggest difference is the anode, but we're, we're working on solutions for that right now. So, go through what are the advantages? Why why solid state? Yeah, so safety number one. You know that that's the big negative I think, or perceived negative lithium-ion battery. Having that flammable electrolyte, that liquid electrolyte that's in conventional lithium ion batteries, we really bump up the safety you know, level of these from, and there's you know, certain designations of EU car of how you rate, but we're, we're shooting for a number much lower than lithium ion. Uh, secondly, weight. Uh, a lot of our customers, even to my surprise, coming here from some of the bigger battery companies, weight is now becoming a big issue. 10 years ago, and I've been doing batteries a long time, we were really worried about the volumetric energy density of batteries, of fitting more batteries into a smaller space. Nowadays, 
we're building, uh, the OEMs are building cars around the batteries, but weight is a problem. So some of the other technologies out there are very heavy. Uh, the energy density of our batteries is quite high from a gravimetric. So we're taking weight out of the batteries, which gives them a big advantage. Uh, now we're not using the batteries to push heavier batteries, we're using the batteries to push the car. That's a major, major advantage for us. So the energy density, uh, the safety, and then we're, we're starting to get now talking really seriously about, about cost. Uh, we think we can get you know, very similar uh, to lithium ion, which now if you can have that increased safety, less weight, longer range, we think we have a winner. So the cell cost might be the same, but you're similar. so much more energy dense, you can use half the battery size, is that's that right. right? That's right, yeah. Ooh, that's huge. That's a big deal. That's a big deal from a design perspective, it's a big deal from a, uh, it's a space, you know, more, more space in the cabin, you know, things like that. So there's, the OEMs are, are, are pushing us very aggressively to come to market as quickly as we can so that they can start taking advantage of these opportunities. Cool. JJ, thanks for all My the My pleasure. Thank you yeah, very much. Good stuff. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem.